So I have two conversion scenarios right over here. I want to convert three kilograms into milligrams, and I want to convert four tons into ounces. So this is clearly in the metric system, and this right over here is in the US customary system. So I encourage you to pause this video and try to do these conversions on your own. Well, to think about this one, we just have to think about what these, what these prefixes mean. So I could rewrite it. This, this is three kilograms, kilograms. And we're going to convert into some amount of milligrams. Milligrams. And we've already seen that the prefix kilo, this literally means 1,000. This means 1,000. And the prefix milli, the prefix milli means 1 over 1,000, or 1 thousandth of a gram. So let's just convert to grams first. Let's go from kilograms to grams, and then we can go from grams to milligrams. So we could say that three kilograms, three kilograms is going to be equal to three times 1,000, three times 1,000 grams, three times 1,000 grams. So that's 3,000 grams. So this is equal to 3,000, 3,000 grams. This is literally 3,000 grams. That's one way to interpret kilo. So this gets us to 3,000 grams. Now how do we go from the grams to the milligrams? Well, we already said, we already said right over here that one milligram, let me write it over here, one milligram is equal to one over a thousand or one thousandth of a gram. But another way of thinking about this statement is that one gram is equal to one thousand milligrams. So if we keep this in mind, we have 3,000 grams. Each of those are going to be equal to 1,000 milligrams. So this is equal to 3,000 3, grams. Each of those are equivalent to 1,000 milligrams. So times 1,000, times 1,000. And this is going to give us the number of milligrams. And what is this going to be? Well, 3,000, 1,000, 1,000 thousands is a million. So 3,000 thousands is 3 million. So this is going to get us 3 million, 3 million milligrams. Another way to think about this multiplication, I've got, I've got three zeros here, three zeros here, so my final product should, so three times one is three, and then I should follow that with the six zeros. So I get three million milligrams. Now let's do the same thing over here. Let's convert this, this US customary ton right over here to ounces. And what we'll do first is we'll go to pounds, and then from pounds we can go to ounces. And we know, we know that one ton is equal to 2,000 2, pounds. So four tons, four tons are going to be equal to, well, each of those are going to be 2,000 pounds. So it's going to be four times 2,000 pounds, which is equal to 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds. Make sure I have some space here. 8,000 pounds. 8,000 pounds. Now, how many, how many ounces are in each of those pounds? Well, we know that one pound, we know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So 8,000 pounds, so this over here, so let me write this. So 8,000 pounds, 8,000 pounds. If each of those 8,000 has 16 ounces, or equivalent to 16 ounces, this is going to be 8,000 times 16 ounces. So what is 8,000 times 16? So this is going to be, let's see, 8 times 16 is 80, plus 48 is 128. But then that's not 8. We want to do 8,000 times. So it's going to be 128,000. 128,000 ounces, so four tons are a lot of ounces.